All right, guys, I'm headed to Boynton Beach to meet up with my buddy, Rick DePaiva. We're gonna go out today and see if we can't get some groupers or snappers on the shallow reef. And then we're doing something exciting. We're going out for a deep drop for tile fish. So stick around, let's see what happens. We're just a few guys that decided to pursue our passion as we hit destination fishing spots in our local waters out of Pompano Beach, Florida. We wanna fill you in on what we have learned along the way. All right guys, here we go. We're out of uh, Boynton Inlet and we're I'm out here with uh, Rick DePaiva. He's throwing the sea anchor in right now. And far, far left, far left current. There you go. We're sitting in about 285 feet. We've got some great marks on the bottom. So I'm gonna drop down a 300 gram jig just to start off with. I got hooks on the top, hooks on the bottom. Um, I'm fishing 30 pound test, uh, uh, PE line and I've got about 12 feet of fluorocarbon, a 40 pound test on there. So I'm gonna drop that down and see what happens. Rick has promised me that this spot is gonna go off. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I kind of believe him, because every time he's told me that, it's come true. Let's see what, happens. what do you got, Rick? I don't know, but uh, 303 feet deep. Screen's clean. Started to show a little bit of bottom. Oh! One, two, lock it in. Lock it. Looks real tight? Yeah. yeah. For me, that looks like black. This screen was. The Amoco jacks were pretty thick. Uh, it's always nice to start out in the morning and, and get a hook up right away. And then as your day progresses, you know, it just continues to where you're you're catching fish after fish. Even if it's not the mutton snapper or the big black grouper that you want, you're getting hookup. And it's exciting and it keeps you fishing and it keeps you fishing hard. Um, you know, just having that hookup one after another because then you realize that eventually you're gonna get something good. There he is. Oh. It was freezing cold for South Florida. Oh, yeah. Like we are not used to this kind of cold. Um, we're we're like lizards. It gets that cold, we just fall out of the tree and die. And I was layered up. I think I had I had a. a one UV shirt on top of another UV shirt with a jacket and then another jacket on top of that. So if you're watching this video and you see me like changing, it's not it's not a new day. It's it's me taking layers off. Our plan for the day was to start out shallow. By shallow I mean like the two to four hundred foot range. And then at some point we were gonna go deep and try and get some golden tile fish and black belly rose fish. Oh, oh, yes. So here's something cool. You guys, I'm gonna fill you in on what we did on our deep drop, how we slow pitch jig the 700 to 900 foot depth and got down to the bottom and were successful. So this has been a trial and error for me. I did not get this right the first time. I've had a lot of information given to me by friends, but to be successful at it, it takes work and it takes time to actually dial this in and make it happen. So we got out to our mark on the deep drop and I have my accurate Valiant 500 and spooled with 15 pound test. Um, I have a 500 gram jig on and I drop down to the bottom. 
Um, I'm actually, I have 40 pound fluorocarbon um, and I have hooks on the top and the bottom, devil assist hooks. Now, I drop my jig down and it takes what seems like forever for the jig to get to the bottom. And when it gets to the bottom, it's not that normal thud that you would think, um, you know, in the 200 foot range or the 300 foot range where you, you know, it's definitive that you hit the bottom. It's like, boom. And you can really feel the vibration in your rod um, and in, in your, on your pole, on your hand, you feel it when that jig hits the bottom, you know you're there. You got a fish. Yeah, you can kiss. No. Out in this deeper water, it was almost like somebody was whispering down a hallway. You hit bottom, and and that was the only feeling that I was getting with the 15 pound test and the uh, 500 gram jig. And now that, that's all I needed. I just needed to know that I was on bottom because there's times that you can have a double current, one going this way, one going this way. And what happens is your line does this U, you know, and, and even though you're, you're, you hit bottom, you're pulling your jig at an angle versus going up and down. And a lot of times you're not gonna be vertical from your jig, even though it, it appears that way while you're on the boat, it's not actually that way. So yes, I said 15 pound test. That's what we do when we go out there. That way we can cut that scope out of our line. The more, vertical you are, the better the connection you'll have to your jig, and then the more success that you'll have. Look at this guy. Rick hooked up on something good on the bottom. He's a little bigger than the Brody that I caught earlier. So uh, he's been fighting this thing for quite some time now, being how deep he is. And, uh, I think we're about to see some color pretty soon here. Yeah. 500 gram jig, right? Yep, 500 gram jig, we were hitting bottom. You know, he's got a massive sea anchor out. What is it, 12 feet? 12 feet, yeah. 12 foot sea anchor, so it's slowing our drift down pretty well. Staying vertical. Staying vertical, Staying yeah. Which is nice. Yeah! Oh, that's a fatty Rick! Yes, bro! Woo -hoo -hoo! Look at that! Yes, dude! This So we move in and um, Rick and I are, are, you know, just happy to not be manually cranking up from, you know, 900 feet of water and the day continues. I hooked up Baby. on a fish that was giving me the digs like a mutton snapper and, you know, as I'm, as I'm fighting this fish, Rick hooks up behind me. Oh yeah, heck yeah. If it's not an Everjack, keep her, keep her, keep her Oh, I got a button. Keeper? Yeah. And I go ahead and, and, and pull up this mutton snapper and I realize that Rick has a very nice fish on behind me. Gag. Back up a little. Gag or a uh, mutton. I'm calling it. Ugh. What a day, huh? What a day, bro. <laughs> what a day. Deep and now shallow. Pretty sure I just got a keeper mutton on deck. Uh, you, can, you can turn the camera there if you want. Keeper mutton there. Bricks hooked up over here. Oh. We got color. We got color. Yeah, it's a grouper or a mutton. What do we got? Nice black, oh, bro. Black. Nice black. Keep 
pulls out a beautiful uh, black grouper. So it was just an epic day for him and I. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You could also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget, jig on.